This video is sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Design video product faster, with Envato Elements, get unlimited downloads, After Effects templates, stock footages, fonts, music files, web templates and many more. Visit the Envato Elements, check the first link in the description, and get 70% discount on first month subscription. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this. Create a new composition. I will name it as trailer title. I will set time duration to just 4 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. Now for this background layer in effects and preset. Search for gradient tram, add it to the background layer. Now here you can set any color of your choice. Here I will position the start of the ramp. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for start of ramp. Now go at end of the timeline, change position of start of ramp as shown. You can see the preview. Let's set ramp scatter to 500. Now let's create a new solid. I will name it as noise. For this noise layer, in effects and preset, search for fractal noise, add it to the noise layer. Now for fractal noise, set fractal type to, terrain. Set noise type to, spline. Now set contrast to, 25. Set brightness to, minus 10. Now in transform, at start of the timeline, create keyframe for offset turbulent. Now at end of the timeline, change position for offset turbulent as shown, Perfect. Set complexity to 20. Now for evolution, while pressing Alt key, click on stopwatch of evolution. Now enter expression, time 80. You can see the preview. Now in effects and preset, search for curves, add it to the noise layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Fi noise layer, press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second, create keyframe for opacity, set opacity to, 20%. Now at start, set opacity to, 0%. Now for noise, set mode to, color dodge. Perfect. Now let's add the text. Here for this text layer, I will be using Montserrat font family, font style to regular. Here I will slightly increase the tracking amount. Now align the text to center. Now for text layer. In Animate, select Tracking. 
Now at end of the timeline. Create keyframe for tracking. Now at start of the timeline, depending on your text layer, increase the tracking amount. You can see the preview. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now let's adjust the speed graph. Perfect. Now for this text layer, right click on the text layer, go to layer style, select gradient overlay. In gradient overlay, let's edit gradient. Now here you need to adjust the color stopper, create it as shown, set the color. Create stopper and set color for it as shown. Perfect. Now create duplicate of text layer. For this text layer, we will edit the gradient color. Here we will delete the stoppers. Here you need to adjust the stopper as shown. Perfect. For below text layer. In transform. Unlink the scale, change X scale value to 99%. Here you can see the effect. Perfect. Select both text layer. Pre-compose it. I will name it as text. For this text, in effects and preset, search for photo filter, add it to the text composition. Set filter to, cooling filter 82, set density to, 100%. Perfect, now in effects and preset, search for optics compensation, add it to the text composition. Now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for field of view, now at start. Change field of view to, 180. Select reverse lens distortion. You can see the preview. Now press U to view keyframes, select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's change this text composition to 3D. Create a new camera. Now create a null object. Change null to 3D, parent camera to null. For null, press P to bring up position, now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for position. Now at start, increase position value as shown. You can see the preview. Select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now from project panel, let's add the light media file to the timeline. For light, in effects and preset. Search for Gaussian Blur, add it to the light layer. Set blurriness to, 20. Now in effects and preset, search for tint, add tint to light media file. Now while pressing Alt key, 
click on stopwatch of amount of tint, now enter wiggle expression, wiggle, 10, 45. Here I will slightly adjust the map white color. For light, press T to bring up opacity, set opacity to 25. For light, change mode to screen. Now from project panel, add the flare media file to timeline, Change mode to add. Now add dust particles media file to timeline. Change mode to add. For particles, let's set opacity to 50%. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for noise. Add noise to adjustment layer. Here we will set amount for noise to 5%. Now in effects and preset, search for curves, add curves to adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for wiggle position. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for wiggle speed and amount. Set speed to 100. Amount to 2. Now go at 3 seconds. Set speed and amount to 0. You can see the preview. Now create a new solid layer. This will be our frame. Make sure fill color is set to black. Now double click on rectangle tool to create mask. Now let's adjust the mask shape. Set unit to percent of source. Set top to 10%. Set bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our title is ready. Similarly, you can create multiple titles and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.